Look at this, this is nuts. Like, I actually made it look crispy. This is crazy. So guys, I'm growing a jalapeno plant. Had it for a couple weeks. This puppy is growing. But in today's video guys, I'm going to be giving myself a tapered hairline. And I've been putting a lot of thought to this. At first I didn't want to do it, that's why I was growing up my baby hairs. And I wanted to just put all my baby hairs back. But one thing that I have noticed with growing up baby hairs is that they are super thin compared to all of your other hair. So what I've noticed is, with growing them out, it just makes my hair look frizzy. And I'd have to grow them out really long. And it would take me a couple years to get these at the right length so it doesn't look weird and fluffy at the front of my hair, as you guys can see. See how the front of my hair just looks fuzzy all the time? Even if I push it back, it tends to fluff up. So I looked on YouTube and I literally only found one video on showing how to actually do this. Like I would expect this from 360 GZ or something like that, Chris Bozzi or somebody, which there probably is a tutorial out there by them, but I didn't see any titled with a tapered hairline or a double hairline. So I'm literally kind of just going off of one tutorial on this video and I'm making this video so that you guys have this content to look at because I couldn't find it anywhere. So if you're watching this video, that means you found it. And this is one of the very few videos on this actual haircut. So before I do my haircut, I'm going to take a shower, wash my hair really well, and then I'm gonna section literally all the way around all the hair that I have, because I do have a high top fade, even though it's not there yet, but I'm gonna give myself a fade today. And I'm gonna try to figure out how to mask my hairline being crooked, because we all know hairline is crooked. So the way I'm gonna do the tapered hairline, I'm still trying to figure out if I wanna do it straight with my eyes, or figure out how to work it in with the way my hairline's already built. But either way, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it myself. So it should teach you guys something. But I'm actually really excited to give myself a haircut. I've been like super rough lately. See, I actually like grew out my sideburns, which I hardly ever do. And they're, they're super thin, but hey, look, they were coming in. But I'm actually really excited to do this. I got the thought of doing it. I mean, I've always thought about doing it, but I really made the decision of doing it, I think two days ago. And I wanted to do it two days ago, but I was actually taking a break and didn't want to film anything. So today is the day and I'm really excited about it. So one thing that I have noticed with when I transfer from having dreadlocks to how my hair is now, is that you can still see where some of the sections were of the dreadlocks. Just by the looks of how the line of where my hair disconnects into the longer hair, you can see where it kind of like drops off sometimes or where it will go up and everything like that. So I'm going to fix that by basically doing how I'm doing the tapered hairline, section it out, pull it down, and cut it down to the actual length of the sides so that the difference between the short hair and the long hair is a straight line versus a crooked line like how it has been so far. I'm gonna do my best without having any help of Candace or anything like that. So like I said, I've been really looking forward to doing this, so let's head inside and go do this. Okay guys, before I show you how I gave myself a tapered hairline, the video is nuts, I'm telling you. I wanted to give a huge shout out to Skillshare. Skillshare is a platform that has over 22,000 courses. This is basically a Kickstarter to how to actually have a career or start a career. This is for all the creatives out there that want to be creative but don't necessarily know how. Skillshare is a place to where you can go and learn with a community of people that are trying to learn the same thing as you. The cool thing is if you click the link down below, you can go check it out. You can sign up and start with a 30 day free trial and you can cancel anytime. There's no commitment. But I encourage all of you to go check out Skillshare by clicking the link down below and you will not regret it. Other than that, check out the rest of this video because I'm gonna show you guys how I hook myself up. Okay guys, so in the shower I used my favorite shampoo, which is the Texture ID shampoo. And you can pick up the shampoo and the link down below along with the conditioner from Texture ID. Now I will say my number one best feature from Texture ID is the way that it smells. Now I know that's probably not the best feature to look for, but me personally, that's my favorite about Texture ID. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all my hair up and then try to section out what needs to go and what needs to stay. All right, so the best thing to do now is to take a rat tail comb and then Basically just figure out where I want the line to go and then separate everything. And I'm gonna do this all the way around my head, like I said earlier. All right, so I got that sectioned out. Maybe I just might rack the bangs for a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be rocking bangs. But I'm just gonna look in the mirror really quick and make sure that this is straight and how I want it to look. 
make sure that this section is perfect because this is what's gonna make the difference. So take your time and look in the mirror and get it as perfect as possible. Hey okay, guys, I am a bit frightened just because this is like a lot of hair, it seems like. But one thing you can notice about my hair is you can see where my baby hair stopped. They're about three inches long and you can see where all the rest of the hair is. So I'm really not taking off that much. It's just a lot for me because I don't like cutting my hair really. But I believe I got this section where I want it to be. Now I'm just gonna try to section out the rest. I'm gonna go ahead and brush all my hair down and then show you what the line around my head looks like. Here's a prime example right here. You can see where there, it kind of gets wavy right there. I just wanna make sure that everything's straight. This is the one you notice the most just because it dips so much. I'm just gonna try to feather this one out and just go straight across and take off barely any hair. So I'm gonna see what that looks like. Now guys, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I did a really good job on this. Check out how I sectioned everything out. I feel like I did a great job on the sides. Now I guess the biggest thing is making sure that my hairline is like perfect. So I double checked, I'm gonna triple check right now, but I want you guys to see how straight the line looks now compared to how it looked before. Now you can see that this one kind of waves up and I'm completely okay with that. I just didn't want it to like kind of cut up and make like a hard corner. So in the back was something huge that made my fades look way off just because the hair was crooked. But now you can see that it's all straight across and this side's perfect. Okay, really quick, here's everything I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using these clippers, they're Andis and lever on them. I honestly don't know what these are called, but you can compare them to some masters or magic clips or seniors. I'm also gonna be using my Andis T outliners with a half skeleton. I'm also going to be using my Andy's Pro Foils. Here are the guards I'm going to be using. I have a two guard, a zero guard, and a one guard. Most likely going to be using the one guard to take down all of the extra hair that is on my hairline and on the sides of my head. And then after that, I'm just going to be doing a normal fade. So like I said, to start out, I'm going to have the lever open with a one guard on, and I'm going to be taking out all of this extra hair that I don't want. All right, you guys, like I said, I'm a bit like weirded out by doing this, but but I feel like I won't do it if I don't do it right now. So taking it and just going with it, hoping to not make any mistakes. If you make your sections right, you should be okay. I'm a bit nervous, but I know I'm gonna do well. I'm gonna believe that God is guiding me through this. I'm just gonna do one more check because I feel like you can't check enough for real. I feel like there's a little wave right here. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that right there and then I should be able to fix anything that doesn't look right after I finish this. I'm actually gonna put on a two guard lever open just to be safe. And let's just get started because if I don't, I'm not going to do it. Look how much hair this was right here. Just on a little section. Well, I'm already knee deep in it right now. Alright, so this is all the hair that I literally cut off right now. I'm glad that's over with because that was probably the hardest part to do. But now should be the easiest part. I'm going to brush this up and show you guys where my hairline is. It's literally just right there. And I think just lining it up is going to be the biggest thing. Now obviously I am going to take this down lower. Most likely going to do a one guard open because right now it's just too long and it wouldn't look really that good. So I'm going to take the two guard off, put on the one guard open, and then go all the way around again. Alright, so since I'm only going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a tapered hairline, I'm going to go ahead and drop this down to lever closed with still the one guard. And I'm not going to show you guys the entire fade just because I don't want to be redundant. I have other videos on giving myself a fade, you guys can watch those. But obviously I will show you everything after it's completely finished. But just to finish this off, I'm going to go ahead and close the clippers with the one guard go down again and get it to a reasonable length so that I can give myself an actual lineup. And then I'll go ahead and give myself a fade and then I'll show you guys what everything looks like afterward. One thing to note is that if you're going to do a one guard down, you got to remember to do that on the rest of your head so that it doesn't look super light or super dark on one spot and look the opposite on the other sides. But I will say that a one guard down is probably the best length to do for a tapered hairline. But now all I'm going to do is, is go in and give myself a hairline. So my hairline starts about right here. I don't really want to push that back. I want to hit right on the hairline. It's really weird giving myself a lineup because I haven't given myself a lineup in like three months. I feel like the hairline right now is straight. It's always hard for me to get a perfect hairline as far as the straightness. So I always have to ask my wife, hey, does this look straight? This is as far as I got right now. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after I'm completely done. And I guess we'll just see what it looks like when everything's finished. All right, you guys, just finished up. Now I'm just doing some touch-ups on my hairline. Not gonna lie, this looks really clean. Like at first I was scared. I was really scared on how this is gonna turn out. Look at this, this is nuts. Like I actually made it look crispy, this is crazy. So I feel like this is the straightest my hairline has ever been. If I can give you guys pros and cons, 
The con, I think the only con is like, it's kind of scary going into it, especially if you're doing it yourself. And I'm not sure if I'll trust any other barber doing this on me. So I'm super stoked I got the tapered hairline finally. I've always kind of wanted one, but then again, didn't really want one. And you can just see how excited I am about this. Um, just because I've, I mean, even when I had dreadlocks, like I wanted this, I wasn't sure if I really wanted it. So, you know, uh, it's cool to actually have it now, but it's also really awesome to have all of the hair on my head on an even line all the way across and even part just because I've been dealing with that for so long and it was really bad with the dreadlocks. It wasn't as bad after I combed them out, but you can still tell. But dang, this is clean. And I'm just happy to make this tutorial for you guys because of the fact that I couldn't find any more of these videos besides one other one, which it was on straight hair. But this is actually curly hair on how to actually get that tapered hairline or the double hairline or whatever you want to call it and dang this looks clean like it just switches the whole game up but maybe i'm just going crazy because i haven't had a lineup in like three months and i was looking rough and just i was just looking really rough but i'm so happy to see how like look at this look how much of a difference that makes on your hairline now i'm not sure if it's 100 percent straight like i said it's kind of tough trying to get my hairline straight, especially if I'm doing it myself. If someone else is doing it, they can do a little better than me. But I always practice on myself so that I can always get better and make sure that it looks good. That's why I always ask my wife afterwards. I'm like, hey, does this look straight? And how does the fade look and everything like that? Just so that I can test and see if I'm getting better or what I need to work on. And I always ask my friends too. Uh, you guys know Diddy, he's actually a barber. And I always ask him, hey, does this look okay? I always get my friends thoughts on my haircut. I always say, hey, I got a new haircut. What do you guys think? And then I'll tell them, oh yeah, I cut it myself. Just so that I can see what the perspective is. So that I'm not biased thinking that my haircut is really nice and it's really not. But this is insane. Like, jeez, it's crazy. So I would say anybody out there, this is very easy to do. The biggest thing you have to do and focus on is getting that part. As long as you separate perfectly as best as you can, the hair that you want to keep and the hair that you don't want to keep, that's the biggest thing. But dang. What have I been waiting on? I don't know how. This is the cleanest I've ever cut my hair. I'm not gonna lie. This is crazy. Like, it's weird looking at myself. <laughs> Cause this is real deal. It's really nice having a hairline that is like, it's like it's my it's my own. And it's, I feel like it's not too crooked. If it is crooked at all. And sheesh. I've never like impressed myself this much. Hey you guys, comment down below what you think of my tapered hairline. How did I do? Would you guys try this? Do you already have one? I feel like majority of people, if they have dreadlocks or long hair, they typically have a tapered hairline. So this is for everyone who really doesn't have one or they want to fix theirs. Because literally the longest part for me was getting that section perfect so that I didn't make any mistakes when I was actually cutting my hair. Cutting the hair is the easy part. But I'm telling you, this changes the game completely. This is crazy, dude. Now it did get pretty annoying trying to get that separation and go through the whole haircut process because we, like when I first cut it all down, I was like, this isn't gonna look good. Sheesh, that's crispy, dude. Look at that. I'm stoked. I don't know about y'all, but I'm crazy stoked over this. Well, I'm gonna go take another shower because I got hair everywhere. I need to clean up. And then I'm just gonna have a great rest of the day. So if this is the end, hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.